Hey everyone, Miasity here. We're back playing Fear. Uh, we just got to Interval 2. I think you saw the opening of this in the last save. Eyes are still dilating. But we'll do this again. There we go. So we saw the ending of that scene in the last episode, so we skipped it. But we're on the start of Interval 2, so here we are. I have no clue what's happening. Um... Now that I can get a good look around here, this is a little sketchy. What happened to everything? Um, ooh, Intel. M. Beckett, recovery room 102. Patient M. Beckett, recovering from surgery at unprecedented rate. Vitals are nearly back to normal. Dr. York has been paged and should be back here as soon as he's done with the final activation surgery. If patient wakes up in the meantime, explain that he was medevaced from blast zone. Do not let patient leave room. And a uh, fair warning to everyone for this episode, uh, you may hear some banging noises in the background. I have my um, noise suppression up a little bit. We have some um, house renovation stuff going on right now because it's a good old negative 45 degrees Fahrenheit out right now. And we had some pipes freeze, so we have some people uh, fixing that right now. And I was told to stay out of the way, so here I am. Yeah, it's, it's a little chilly with that uh, wind chill right now, so things are a bit sketch. Not sure where that... Oh, who's that? Interesting. Not sure what negative 45 uh, Fahrenheit is in... Why is this turning? Celsius for you folks, but uh, it's cold. Harbringer, Cedric Griffin... Scores. Physical condition outstanding. Mental stability excellent. Average. Exemplary academic and military service record based on med mental fortitude subject has a reasonable chance I'd estimate a 20 to 25 percent probability of enduring the actualization process without severe cognitive regression noted in failed candidates. Harbinger status approved. What does that mean? So I get the feeling that we are not the same people that were in Fear 1. Why is there an X right there? Wait, does my... Flashlight not have a battery now? I think that was one of my biggest complaints about one. Okay, can't go into the men's room. Guess I'm figuring out what's down here unless it's intel. There's that creepiness. I still haven't figured out what's the difference between like... Oh! The grown up version of what seems to be Elma an actual Elma? Well, obviously, it wants us to follow the bloodstains, but. Wonder what happened in there. 
see you, sir. Did you have a nice fall? Jim Howard to Skelly Saperstein? Check the news. Kelly, if you don't ha have any patience in the lobby, turn the TV to 22 News. Explain the shaking that we felt earlier. Guess we won't be going home anytime soon. I wonder if we'll be seeing any follow-up from this. Probably shouldn't talk over email. Want to get dinner in the cafeteria on break? Page me when you're free, Jim. Well, guess Jim won't be getting dinner with her and someone saw something over there they didn't like because those are bullet holes what you. You stay there. no Why did that look like our friend, though? Uh, here. Sergeant Beckett! Thank God you're okay! I'm sure you have a lot of questions. I'll explain everything later. Right now, we need to get you to the TAC lab. It's Hurry, a T and be careful. Bannock's men are attacking the facility. I can't believe he'd go to this extreme to cover up evidence. What's the TAC lab? Why do I not trust it? Why do I not trust you? Lady, I have questions about all of this. Intel. This facility has come under attack by Black Ops teams under the direct command of Colonel Richard Vanek, who is acting under the orders of the ATC Board of Directors. Their objective is to eliminate evidence which encompasses this entire facility and everything and everyone in it. Oh boy. Only the main entrance is compromised at this point, so evacuate through any of the emergency escape routes. I suggest barricading corridors leading towards any of the main lobbies to buy yourselves time. Do not attempt to surrender or you will probably be shot. Genevieve Aristide. Oh boy. Careful, Sergeant Beckett. You're about to stumble into an ambush. This is a secure channel. Identify yourself. That's on the security cameras. I'm not entirely sure what happened this time around, but uh, after I got interrupted... Oh, this junk we gotta burn! All of it. Every all of it. Do still the hard drive. They aren't taking any chances. Started the, uh... Recording again. Um... <laughs> Snake fist. Are you fucking kidding me? Hey, I don't know who else is listening, and I'm not taking any chances. You people need to get out of there. I mean, he's kind of got a point. Um, but anyway, yeah. Uh, like like I was saying, I'm not entirely sure what happened there. Uh, I shot a little bit of this, and um, after I got interrupted, and uh, like. My recording for the next 10 minutes was just black, so obviously OBS wasn't picking something up. But yeah, so we're just going to do this little bit again. Don't get to see me blunder around for like 10 minutes looking for something. Oh well. Oh, they have an explosive pack on their back. That's kind of stupid of them. I was wondering what was exploding this entire time.
think he's uh So, yeah. Alright, we're gonna go down here. Oop, wrong button. Took me a bit to figure that out. So, I was bumbling around in this area for like 15 minutes and couldn't figure out what the hell was going on. Evidently, she doesn't like bathrooms. Yeah, they, they were trying to get to her. And it took me like 10 minutes to figure out this button was there. Advance, advance. elevator. So what doesn't go ro wrong with elevators? Yes, I saw her there. No, don't shut it down. Tricks. Oh jeez, I did <laughs> I hit the wrong button. <laughs> You're gonna have that work out for you. Oh, it's not. You guys aren't too bright, are you? Poor doctors. I'm not sure what they did, but... That's a bit of a fall. They really don't like me here. There's something over here. Assuming we're going to need this. Well, she went this way. But we can't. Alright. Oh, and she went this way.
full. Walls full. Guess what's over here? I wouldn't do that. Diode implant still sending current at too high of a frequency. Patient immediately sees. We don't seem to be able to tune the tune the amps finely enough to gain sensitivity without incurring cellular damage. I think we need to look at increasing the viscosity of the medium. Also, what about additional hormones and supplements? She's... <sighs> trying to do something with the bodies, or... No, she was trying to get me in here. That's so weird. There we go. Now we have sound. I put my headset down and stopped the recording to go check on what was happening with the uh, water. And suddenly I had no sound. So now I have to reorient myself. And I'm sorry about that. Which, plus side, I have working water again. taking a leak. Yeah, you do. Okay, that flashlight is not helping me out right now. I have somebody crying. 
I would not do that if I were you, sir. Okay, crawl space. Why wasn't that going down in the first place? Evaluation report. Origin. Elmo Wade, seven years old. Charles Haberger, PhD. Evaluation. Since last October, subject has progressed from frequent nightmares to periodic hallucinations and debilitating empathic episodes. She is extremely sensitive to emotional fluctuations in those around her and becomes nearly catatonic in fear in the presence of extreme anger, particularly her father's. Of note is that her psychic potential is more than quadrupled since her last evaluation. During a test sequence, attending staff reported a Auditory and physical hallucinations the later range from mild nausea to, to extreme burning sensation in the extremities. Conclusion. Subject is deteriorating mentally at the same time she is demonstrating exponential increases in telesynthetic potency. A little stuffed up, hard to say stuff. I recommend that we increase frequency of evaluations to every two weeks instead of six. I... really appreciate this flashlight being almost infinite. Beckett, over here! Man, am I glad to see you. Come on, we don't have much time. Into the chamber. Hurry! chamber. Doc, this thing isn't gonna sterilize him or anything, right? That would be the least of my concerns. It won't take long. The hell are they doing to me? The hell? Part of Project Harbinger. Only way to explain why Aristide would have brought you here. Commander, we spotted him heading for the main entrance. Roger that. On my way. Don't let them escape. Samuels, finish up here. This sucker's not going anywhere. I think I am going somewhere, sir. Really, try harder, guys. Okay, 
That doesn't work. Guessing stairs too, though. During telesynthetic, I, I'm not even going to try with that word anymore. Attunement chamber attack is an integral part of the harbinger conversion process by means of diode implanting during the activation process. Go higher up on that. No. The attack modulate a subject's telekins blah 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 signal to attune it to the specified target frequency. The correction offsets are also used in the signal amplification process, which extends the subject's range and intensity. Beckett, Interesting. I'm guessing I go down. An armor jam black ops team cut you off from Lieutenant Stokes, but was inexplicably annihilated. In the confusion, Lieutenant Stokes lost sight of Genevieve Arnesty. I cannot pronounce things today. And is attempting to locate her while he try to find a way around. Oh, someone going by the alias Sneak Fist has been helping you, although his motives aren't clear. Is this... Three? No, doesn't look like it. Set those charges on the supports. Oh, that's some shock. Everyone, I hear an elevator. I saw something. All right, now are we done? Can't go in there. Doesn't look like it. All right. Anything important looking in here. I will take this. More intel. Interesting stuff. Demolition teams do not place or arm explosive charges without consulting the demolition plan and schedule. This is very important. Proper positioning of each charge is necessary to guarantee the collapse of the primary support structure. Likewise, timer delays have been carefully calculated to minimize air overpressure and increase debris fragmentation. Any team found to have deviated from plan will be subject to termination. Well, I think they're already terminated, so... I thought I got him. Now I did. Some armor. And I'm guessing I go up. Damn it, what are you still doing in that facility? They're about to blow the whole place to hell. Ah, snake fist. I was wondering when we'd hear from you again. Why are you helping us? Because I'm convinced that if Sergeant Beckett dies, everybody dies. It all has to do with Project Harbinger. I'll, I'll explain later. Just haul ass. <laughs> okay, well, I mean... At least he's got motive. Oh, 
Well, then what's down here? Nothing. Okay. Curiosity just gets the better of me. Weirdest things to get stuck on, but, you know, whatever. At least they made some of this kind of smooth. What's going on? Some weird bullet effects too. Come on. Oh, didn't mean to be in that. Almost looked like he's helping his buddy. This is just weird lighting and stuff too. I was afraid of this. What is it now? Oh, she must be after Sergeant Beckett. His telesthetic profile is off the charts. As I suspected, she can sense him without amplification. Hey. Who the fuck is Alma, anyway? She's the mother of the apocalypse. Snake fist out. This is how we found him. I'm at a lost word. Are you sure? Look at him. Get down! Oh, I, th I thought he was, like, grunting somehow after death. Um, no. Not doing that one again. Um... Jeez. 
so his face was smashed in. What in the world? This is explaining nothing to me, just that she is very, um, traumatized. Maybe angry. Okay, then. Got enough health kits. Obviously saw that one. Don't press the call out. No one's gonna mention that body that um, was obviously there. Let's... Creepy little buggers. Now how do I get out? Is it busted? how they were moving. This is how I'm supposed to get out. Alright, works that time. Hi!
How are they getting to and from in that? They certainly made this creepier. Sergeant Jankowski died in front to be torn up by some kind of surgical machine. Meanwhile, Armorchan Black Ops teams are about to destroy the facility. You need to get out of there before the whole place comes crashing down. Sneakfist insists you are being hunted by someone named Elma who will eventually absorb you. Still not three? I know what she's crying. It's just a baby. I mean, yeah, I I would too. Lots of stuff going on here. Can't get through the doorway. <laughs> Due to subject's marginal potency and high intelligence, I expect that he'll be difficult to control and offer only moderate benefit to the program. Recommend keeping him in unit as a potential research candidate. Status reserve. This is the way I came from. I'm going to get very turned around in here. Actually, I can do that. I was expecting that one at this point. Conversion HPL 24E12. Actualization process report. Proved harboring your candidate. Week 1 subject displaying minor enhancement to reflexes, signs of compatibility with target telepathic frequencies. Week 2 reflex and telepathic 
enhancement continues, subject displaying mild indications of psychosis, including paranoia and hallucinations. Week 4, subject experiencing severe reaction to treatment sessions sent to emergency recombatant procedures. Week 5, scan to indicate damage to cerebral cortex impairing logical functions and regressing subject to partially to animalistic state. Extreme physical side effects noted. Subject will be moved to program X51450 for continued data analysis. That's what these things are, I'm guessing. Oh. Well, now that we're safely at interval three, uh, we're going to call this an episode. Um, so thank you everyone for watching. This has been interesting. <laughs> um, I'm certainly confused at... Oh, wow. I'll, I'll deal with these guys first, so I can actually talk in quiet. Uh, it's left me with more questions than answers already. I still have no clue who Beckett is. Um, based on what's happening here, I'm assuming he's a different character than the original fear person. Um, and they're kind of taking a different spin on the story, so, uh, yeah, I'm kind of confused there. Interested to see where this game takes it, because it's interesting already. And I just have a lot of questions, so thank you everyone for watching with me so far and me bumbling around like an idiot in some places i'm not sure what's going to be edited out here but i know there's one spot where um i had like 10 minutes of blank video or i didn't even realize it so that that'll be a thing that, that i'll try to get out <laughs> otherwise uh yeah if you could uh drop me a like a subscribe or comment down below on your thought and just how i've been doing with these videos that'd be great it helps me out i know that some of these videos have been turning blurry i don't exactly know why i'm kind of looking into it i thought it was maybe the video bloat size of my last video editor um turning one gigabyte to three gigabyte videos into uh 25 somehow so we'll see what happens there when i upload these otherwise um yeah i have no idea and if someone with more video experience could let me know I, that'd be amazing otherwise it's trial and error for me um otherwise i i do wish you all well have a good one, and I will see you next time.